In this part of the lesson, we're going to learn how to use a simple if statement, which will allow our program to test the condition when it's running, and then only perform other instructions if that condition has been met. Let's start by opening up the file that I've already downloaded and extracted. And when that file is opened, we can choose to enable content and look at the system that I've written. The idea is that you can write a single word review of a film that you've seen, and then click the Add to List button to transfer these details on the left-hand side to the list on the right. So if I click this Add to List button, everything gets transferred across to the end of the current list in starting in column D. The problem with this currently is that I can miss out details when I review my film. So for example, I could accidentally remove my film title and perhaps accidentally remove the review as well. If I click my Add to List button again, it simply transfers the incomplete details into the next blank row. And this can cause a problem where I to add new details to the end of the list. The way the system works is by finding the next blank cell in column D. So clearly this is going to cause a problem. And ideally, we'd like to prevent this behavior. Let's get rid of this incomplete record then. And then we'll head into the Visual Basic Editor to see what we can do about solving this behavior. So into the Developer tab, Visual Basic, and here's all the code that makes this system work. If you've already completed the module on moving around in Excel, this should all be fairly familiar to you. So we're looking from the bottom cell in column D, using the end property to go upwards, and then the offset property to come one row back down before selecting the cell. So that gets us to the next blank cell in column D. The remaining code is fairly straightforward. We're just filling in the values of the various cells on that row by referring directly to the contents of the cells in which these details should be written. What we'd like to do is prevent any of this from happening if the value in cell B2 is empty. So to do that, let's add a couple of blank lines to the top of the procedure and begin writing our if statement with the word if, nice and simple. Now I'm going to test if the value of range B2 is an empty string. So I'm going to type in the word range and then look for the cell reference B2. Now I'll refer to the value property of that range and check if it is equal to an empty string. To complete the logical test with an if statement, you simply need to write the word then. And following that, we can write out the instructions that we'd like to take place if this condition is evaluated and returns true. So if range B2 is empty, then I simply want to exit the subroutine. And I can do that by writing the statement exit sub. If I simply then move the cursor to another line, there we go. The syntax checker indicates everything's fine. So there's our simple if statement. Now let's check to see if our system works. I'm just going to rearrange my screen so that I can see both Excel and the Visual Basic Editor window in the same screen. And then I'm going to select my Add to List subroutine and then use the F8 key to begin stepping through. So note that currently cell B2 is empty. So if I were to use the F8 key to step through, this condition should be evaluated and returned true. If I hit F8, it does indeed evaluate true so that it moves to the exit substatement and pressing F8 again will simply end the procedure. So I don't reach the code that would incorrectly add an incomplete record to the list. We should also check that the system works when we do have details filled in. So let's go back and add a new film title to cell B2. Let's see what's been released recently. Let's go for Aquaman. That was released on the 12th of the 12th, 2018. At least it was in the UK. And let's give it a review. Let's call it soggy. There we go. So if I were to select my add to list procedure again and then use the F8 key, this time when I reach the if statement, this should evaluate to false, which means it should not execute the exit sub statement. It should simply proceed to the next instruction. So if I press F8, indeed, that's what it does. I can then press the F5 key to continue through to the end of the procedure. And there I get my new film added in to the list. So congratulations, you've successfully controlled the flow of a program using an if statement. Um, if that doesn't give you a sense of accomplishment, I don't know what will. So at this point, you can either continue with the rest of this lesson, which asks you to practice using a few more if statements, which will allow you to validate the other details in the list. Alternatively, you can simply move to the next part of this lesson, which teaches you how to write something called a block if.